Hello? Yeah, is Andy there? Uh, this is he. Yeah, this is uh, David Crowder calling for the interview that was oh, scheduled today. Yeah, great. Um, sorry, I didn't expect you so soon. Let me give me a second to get things set up here. No problem. Yeah, made a few changes around here, and my typical setup is kind of, you know, technology is a killer, right? Uh, well, I have to wait and see, I guess. Oh, all right. Well, um, well, hey, let's get started. Uh, sorry, my notes are, you know, a little scattered here. Uh, you'll have to forgive me. Um, I, I gotta admit, I, I really don't know much about, you know, you, you or the band, but I've got some friends that are big fans, and, um... Right. But, uh, anyway, um, all right, well, okay, so here we go. Um, so your new CD is titled A Collision, or, um... Three plus four equals seven. That's that's interesting. You know, the, the the whole double title thing. Um, let's see. Uh, and you know the atom on the cover. That's pretty uh-huh. cool. I was, I mean, I was never all that great in science and, and math. It wasn't really my my specialty. It was, I guess, you know, why I'm a writer now. But uh, anyway. Um, okay. So uh, I don't know. Is that? It's like with the cover, is that a metaphor? I mean, is it metaphorical for something, or like, or is it well, pretty? Or no, nah, well, I mean, yeah, the uh, atom. It's not really. I mean, it's a symbol. You see that, and you think atom. It shows what like, electrons moving in elliptical paths around the nucleus and all. And we we know that's that's not how an atom works, or or looks even for that matter. Okay. And so so that's why it's appropriate for the cover. You know. Right. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm not really sure I see the connection, but... Well, and what we mean to say is that the elements of worship are inadequate, very much like the Adam depiction, but this is what we have, you know, it helps us carry the idea. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Uh, tell, okay, what's the deal with these little songs between the, you know, the real songs? Like, are they significant? Um... Is there like a theme of the album? Are they creating space? Like, what's what's going on there? Um, I don't. Okay. Um. So you know, I hear there's this really spectacular ending to to the record. Is that true? We'll have to wait and see on that. Swell. It's it, it swell. I mean, it, wait. Hold on. It does it well? No, it swells. Oh, uh, right. It swells. Um. Okay. Well. So the end starts with this this piece called the Lark Ascending. Um. Now, what it, what is a lark? Is that is that also a metaphor for something? Um, I guess, I mean, I guess that I don't think I don't think you should read too much into any of this. You know, it's, I mean, the lark ascending was written. It was a piece written by Vaughn Williams, who died in 1958, and. Uh, the work opens with this calm set of sustained chords, and then, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. And um, anyway, and so then the violin enters as the lark, and it, it, it starts with this series of ascending and repeated intervals, and then it's, it's nimble, then elongated arpeggios. Um, and he actually found inspiration in a work by the English um, poet George Meredith, who died in 1909, and the composer he included. Um, portion of Meredith's poem on the flyleaf of uh, the, the published work. Hold on, wait, um, why, why do you keep mentioning the it, year they died? Well, it went, and it went like this. It says, uh, he rises and begins to round. He drops the silver chain of sound and many leaps without a break and chirrup whistles slur and shake for singing till his heaven feels to his love of earth that he instills and ever winging up and up. Our valley is his golden cup and he the wine which overflows to lift us with him as he goes till laugh on his aerial rings in light and then the fancy thing. Oh, wow, that's, that's nice. But, I mean, but who is the lark? I don't know. Sorry, I, I think I've got the wrong page. Um, the script you gave me says something different. It says you are. Yeah, but I don't I don't feel like the lark much of the time, and um, there are other larks for me, you know. Wait a sec. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, but um, yeah. in the script I have, you're making right. a point that art does this. Right. You know, the whole, it rises on wing from earth to fill the yeah. heaven pulling and the rest of us with it, that as the lark rises, so do we. Right, I'm unsure. But, hold on, I mean... It, it says so right here. Yeah. Um, but the ground folds in my feet.